All right, I have created a new case for my wireless follow focus system here. This is the Tilta Nucleus 902. I have two of them. Uh, why do I have two of them? Because I decided to buy a second motor in hopes that I can control zoom and focus at the same time, which I kind of achieved. Also, it also failed. So I was like, I don't want that to go to waste. So let's just have a second control handle as well. So I bought another one, control handle controller, and here we are. This way here, this is a battery from ZG Cine. It seems like I'm a ZG Cine fanboy, but um, they have stuff that other companies actually don't have and it's, they're pretty cheap and the quality is pretty good. So I decided to do this because um, I've noticed on set these, they last a while, but then you have to charge them, obviously. They probably last maybe four hours, four to six hours, maybe, maybe four hours, and you have to charge them. And instead of like giving someone a power brick or a VMO of USB, um, I was like, I should just make this a handle and just like have USB-C sent out into the connection port down here. And that's the idea. So it's a little bit heavier than a traditional handle than like say this one here. This is the this is the handle from the Tilta dual handle unit for the RSD Pro. I just took it because I don't use it for it. And this has been the handle for the the wireless follow focus for a while now. It's a little dusty. This it is. Um but then I'm going to buy another battery of this and connect it to that. That's why this extends that way. This fits on both. I'll show you real quick. So it doesn't matter where it goes. It just, you can just set it in there. So that's the idea. We'll leave this one here. Over here on the corner, we have a power brick here. This is USB-C and type A. So we can charge the batteries here um, offline. This battery will probably, this battery will definitely last this all day. So that's the idea. I didn't want them to worry about this dying on them at all. I wanted to just like have them constantly ready to um, just, you know, work it. And this little thing here is they can hang it however they want. If they want to like put their hands through it, or if they want to just rest it like on a baby stand, something like that, they can do that. So, cause it's, like I said, it's a little bit heavier. There's a bunch of USB-Cs in here, USB-C to C, USB-C to A, and then four USB-C right angles, pretty short ones. These are to send signal or send power from the motor to the battery and also for connecting these here. So that is the idea here. Yes, a lot of money spent, but not that much money, I would say. Um, I've, I've needed a better system to store my wireless fall focus anyways, which I just realized there's another cable I need to add in here, which will ruin my ergonomics here. Um, it's just been dangling in my bag my AC bag and not dangling, but it's in the pouch. And I don't like that, especially since the, the controller here has a screen here to, eat, to control everything. So um, I want some, a better way to lug it around. Even if it was just one unit, <clears throat> I want a better way to lug it around. Um, <clears throat> you notice here, I've only used one layer. Um, including up here. I thought I was gonna use two here, but then I was like, one is enough. We can just stuff it in, you know, it can be tight. Those are cables, it's okay. Um, I would like it if it was just one layer case, then like, I won't, I don't feel like I'm wasting space because I'm wasting so much space right here. Um, but I don't know if there's like a company that makes dividers for this size case. This, um, this case is smaller than the Pelican IM2400. 
and this is another Apache case here, smaller than this one here. And they make cases for this. This is the size, same size as that case. So everything you can buy for this case, you can put in here, except for Trek packs because Apache cases, they have, you probably can't see right there. Just see a little silver thing there. They have that for the pressure thing as compared to Pelicans. They don't have that. But yeah, if they do, that'd be great. If not, whatever, um, I'll probably switch around. But yeah, I need to figure out next cable situation here. So. so for the record, I bought a smaller case like this a while ago already, uh, black. I, I bought it pretty randomly. I think I had a different purpose for it, but then I bought it and I was like, um, I don't know what I'm gonna use for it. And then I bought these these lights uh, from Godox. Um, this is the MC equivalent from Aperture. And these are the bulbs as well. And I just decided to store them in this case here because it fits very well. I have two more over here. <clears throat> and they fit very well. So I just decided to leave them in there and I would provide some USB cables uh, so they can charge. Um, yeah, that's a lot better than it being in a bag of some sort. And I kind of want to protect these as well because the bulbs, you know, they're kind of fragile a little bit. So you don't want them to be smashed all the time. But yeah, um, this this particular situation, like I don't care about a divider in here. Obviously there's like none, but then the, the phone will help protect the lights anyways. So um, it's okay in this case. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the battery grip here. Um, this was, I think, designed kind of for like for mobile lights that can use batteries, um, which like I thought that'd be great. Um, but then I used it for one of mine, the ML kits. Um, and I realized that it's less set up at the beginning, but if you need to change the battery, you have to take off the light and you take out the mount that you have on attached and all that stuff. So I was like, this actually isn't a better solution. Um, maybe if you're doing real quick stuff, like maybe it only lasts an hour, then it's fine. You can actually hold it, you know, but then if you want to like put on a stand or whatever, it's not that great for that purpose. Um, if you're doing long form type stuff, I think it's kind of designed for photographers, you know, um, there's a D tab here, which is cool. And of course, USB-C, which is uh, in and out of power delivery. And then the, you have five LED lights here that actually shows the power level there. This is 89 watt hours, I believe. So it's a little bit under like most small V-mounts. Um, I guess I can't say small anymore, but most V-mounts, most V-mounts are like 98, 99 or so, 95. Uh, this little... I guess you call the spigot here. It comes with it too. And uh, it is already locking, so it won't spin. And the lockings are in here. And I think, give me the closer. I think you can take off the pins because um, they don't recess. So I think that's doable. Um, so yeah, if it's not, then that would kind of suck, you know, you'd be forced to use this all the time. So. Um, I actually might get rid of this and just connect this directly. That will reduce the amount of space here used. Um, yeah, let me try that real quick. I don't think we can do it. Yeah, I think my idea isn't going to work. Which is kind of stupid, honestly. Um, I mean, I would love to be able to just put like whatever attachments onto the actual thing here and not having to use a spigot, you know. But it's okay, whatever. Because putting this back on is kind of strange. Sometimes the thread doesn't stick in, but yeah, um, I just ordered another one. So it should be here Sunday or Monday. 
and I'll have two of them. And that'll be cool. I wanted to, so I want to like utilize having this handle in here. So they have another handle to use, but I don't think it'll fit. So I'm just gonna throw in the AC bag. So um, that's how it's gonna be there. Oh well, it kind of sucks. So it turns out the Apache 3600 case is the equivalent to the Pelican 1450 case. And they have dividers for it. And these are, these are the dividers, that same brand that I bought for my rolling case. Um, and I like them. They're very good. Very affordable. 66 bucks. And how do you go away? The Jason Case's lid um, is available too. It is $120. That is quite pricey, but I think it's worth it for this particular reason. I think it's worth it. Um, I can keep my cables in it. You know, instead of like it being just kind of in the corner and I can like actually store more stuff in the case as well. So, um, it could be more of an, an AC case almost. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm going to get a special order. So it's probably straight from Jason's cases. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, but I'm going to order it and we'll get it to use. Um, hopefully, or actually... I was wondering if I should order like two of these because I have another case that I use for my, that I showed you guys earlier, use for my lights. And I don't know, I think I should, I want another lid, but man, is that expensive. Um, <laughs> I think they have, I think Pelican has their lid, but I just don't like it. But um, yeah, uh, I guess they do have it and that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. That means this is a case that can be like, I can buy, you know, cheap, not Pelicans brand and store stuff in it. And it's kind of a small footprint as well. It's smaller than the bigger cases. So I like it. Another purchase I bought is this quick release from Small Rig. So this is called a Hawk Lock. And this is a RE locking pin down here. This is quarter 20. So I got this for my weddings because having to screw on the light onto the magic arm all the time was kind of tedious. It took a while. So what I want to do is, here, I'll set it up. What I wanted to do was, so I on this camera, I specifically have it where the magic arm is on the side. Same thing in the gimbal, but, um, and then I will just put this in like so, and it's in. So that's pretty good. I like it. Um, so I bought two sets so I can have one for this magic arm also. And the idea is, let me grab this real quick on my gimbal. So I would have this attached onto the gimbal. Um, right now it's not the correct um, <laughs> attachment for this right here. It's already locking as well, quarter 20. And then I could just take the light off and put it in here. One thing I noticed is I thought it would be like this where you could just insert it like this, but no, you have to actually like move the lever to insert the, the quick release plate. And um, that's kind of a, it's not a huge bummer, but I would like it if it's just clip on. That would be amazing. I mean, like that would be next level, you know, but yeah, I got this so I can switch the lights real quick. What I was doing was I was bringing two lights with me and then attaching them to the gimbal and my, my main camera. But then like, um, but then I was like, I'm bringing too much stuff and sometimes I don't use it. So I rather just use one light to light, you know, people up. And for the gimbal, it's only meant for really the, the, what is it? The, the grand exit. So, 
Uh, that's the idea.